maybe the beginning of this video should just be like, actually, whatever you're doing is kind of cool and let's accept ourselves for who we are first before we even get into the idea of what we're saying about other people and making sure we're not telling a story about ourselves that is repelling people. I'm not good enough, I'm not cool enough, not smart enough, not funny enough, no more. That can't happen if we want to actually have relationships and not feel lonely anymore. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee and I'm a mindset coach and I'm here to help make manifesting make sense. I teach using my signature approach, the 360 method, which combines awareness and discipline to help you become an expert manifester on autopilot. Find out more about that at roxytalks.com. Today we're gonna be discussing loneliness. I know that's something that a lot of us experience just by nature of this community. We attract people who are maybe sometimes on the fringe of society or the black sheep or they're maybe a little bit misunderstood or they have more of an open mind or they're more on the leading edge or maybe they're a little bit different or they're nerdy or they're just whatever, which I would say I fall into every one of those things. I could literally describe myself as any of those things confidently and honestly. And I've noticed that, uh, not everybody, I'm not saying everyone has to fall into that, those categories, but I've noticed that a lot of people that are attracted to manifesting could describe themselves that way. When you are committed to growing and learning and being something new and discovering new information that goes against everything that we've been taught as a society, not everyone's gonna be on board. Not everyone's gonna get it. And sometimes you are alone in everything you're doing. And first off, that is exactly why I have a community-based business community.roxytalks.com. Go there, join, grab a profile, download the app, and start connecting with people who understand you. That's literally what it's for. It's a safe space for all of us who wanna talk about weird stuff, planets, manifesting, energy, somebody down the street did this, I saw a feather. It doesn't matter, we get it. We're all on this journey together. And it's been really important to me that through the course of my career as a coach, that I now recognize the need for people to have community and connection and support from one another. Peer support is huge. And as I've shifted my business model to be centered around group programs and community-oriented coaching, the growth I've seen in my clients is so beautiful and so amazing. And I'm really enjoying being able to witness this co-creation between people and we're holding each other accountable. We're being there for each other. We're learning from each other. We're inspired by each other. We're supporting each other. And I can tell you if this video resonated with you, if being lonely is something that you want to work on, please come join our free community and consider checking out one of my group programs because all of it is centered around not just learning and being your best self, but also doing that with community and people who get you and understand you. So when it comes to loneliness, there's a couple things that are going on. For one, definitely you're gonna have a program running internal dialogue going on that's telling you, I'm not good enough, nobody's here, no one's around, no one sticks around, I don't have anyone, there's no, I don't even wanna go to, I don't even, I literally don't even wanna finish because it's like, I don't wanna manifest that. You know, like, and I get it because I've been there. I definitely, somebody, like I, I told you before, I'm out on the leading edge. I've definitely called myself a black sheep more than once. And as I'm saying that, it's like, you know, do I wanna continue living by that definition? Eh, sometimes, sometimes I like it. Sometimes it frustrates me, but if I wanna change it, awareness and discipline, cornerstones of the 360 method, of course. But that's the thing, if I want to change that story, I've gotta stay aware, I've gotta stay disciplined, I have to change it, I can no longer define myself as that sheep. I just could be a sheep if I want to, but then actually now that I'm saying that, don't I wanna be a black sheep? I do, I think I do. Okay, so moving on. Maybe the beginning of this video should just be like, actually whatever you're doing is kinda cool and let's accept ourselves for who we are first before we even get into the idea of what we're saying about other people and making sure we're not telling a story about ourselves that is repelling people. I'm not good enough, I'm not cool enough, not smart enough, not funny enough, no more. That can't happen if we want to actually have relationships and not feel lonely anymore. That dialogue, that monologue, whatever, that running fucking ticker tape of bullshit has to stop. And to get it to stop, we need to replace it with something else. So I'm just gonna throw some things out here. I'm lovable, I'm fun, I'm fun to be around, I'm magnetic, people love me. I have so many friends, I have so many people around me. I have such a tight-knit circle, I have the best people around me. Cause maybe you don't want a big circle, maybe you just want one or two people. I have my PIC, my partner in crime with me, my BFF, my best friend forever. 
I've got these people around me. I have good people in my life. I feel so fulfilled. I'm always surrounded by love. I love the people in my life. I love how supported I am. All of those affirmations will help you cultivate a new environment in your mind that is no longer going to A, support loneliness and B, indulge in it, therefore manifesting more of it. So that's the first thing is that, actually second thing, right? Because we decided that first thing is going to be, you know what? I'm really fucking cool as I am. This thing that's going on right here is this is the number one ticket in town and this is where the fun and attention is, right? So first we're deciding that we are worthy and valuable of having people around us. Whatever it is that you're into, about, like to talk about, whatever, other people are into that same shit and they're gonna be magnetized to you, okay? So don't discount yourself because some people haven't gotten you yet. Fuck them, who cares? We're pumping ourselves up, we know we're good enough, then we are starting to change the narrative that's going on in our mind that is pushing things away energetically and saying that we don't have And we're going to change the flow of that energy, change the direction of the flow of that energy to start saying we do have. And then you're going to keep doing that. You're going to do that forever. You're going to do that for the rest of your life. Because if you don't, you may start falling under the I'm lonely spell again. I'm not good enough spell. Because that narrative has been running a long time. And it's probably been running longer than this one we're working on right now. So there's more momentum, there's more power, the path is more worn. So the neural pathway is gonna be easier to get to. Hey, it's Roxy from the future here, just stopping by to let you know about our amazing Confidence Bootcamp live group program. I've never hosted a group program like this. Every one that I do, I want to be different and special and unique so that anybody that's joining gets a fun, exciting, and transformative experience. And anybody that's coming back program after program, or if you're in Synergy, of course, that's my monthly subscription that gets you access to all of my group programs. I want it to feel special every time. So the confidence bootcamp that we are hosting for the month of October is going to shake things up. We're doing it different. I'm pushing you out of your comfort zone with love. There will be a net to catch you, but I want to see you leap. I want to see you make big commitments to yourself and to your growth and to your change. And I'm going to be there with you every step of the way, helping you build the confidence that you desire to achieve any reality you want. Sign up for the confidence bootcamp at roxytalks.com. So we want to create a new one and we want to stay on that one. So I want you to hammer in the idea, lovable, wanted, sought after, whatever, all those things, right? That's the new running narrative in your mind. And then from there forward, your job is to make your alone time really fucking cool, really exciting. Imagine if you filled your alone time with all of the stuff that you actually love to do. I'll give you some things I love to do. I love to turn on music, Mariah Carey, Beyonce, Whitney Houston, the best of the best, and open my doors wide up and sing at the top of my lungs. (laughs) Do I think I sound like them? No. Do I care? No. Do I care that people can hear? No. But singing at the top of my lungs, I was telling my husband the other day, I feel like I'm Freddie Mercury, (laughs) being Freddie Mercury, being a diva, being whoever. I love it. It makes me feel like me. It makes me feel alive. It makes me excited to be on planet Earth. And it makes my child self happy. It makes me be like, bitch, do you see who grew up to be? This is my house? And I'm sitting at the top of my lungs and I can't and no one's going to stop me because it's my house. I can do whatever I want. And I'm a grown up doing whatever the hell I want. And this is what it is. Indulging in the stuff that you love, little me. So I have this thing called the shit that brings me joy list that I talk about all the time. That's what you're going to do if you're lonely. You're going to A, make a shit that brings me joy list. Put on there the stuff that you like to do that has nothing to do with anyone else. Knitting, basket weaving, reading tarot, reading books, writing, roller skating, yoga, I mean, making videos, it doesn't matter, right? Like whatever it is that fires you up, I want you to make a list, Jenga, fucking solitaire, it doesn't matter, painting your toenails, who cares? Put it on your list, hanging out with dogs, volunteering, calling your BFF, swimming, I don't know, I'm just naming things, right? Put them on your list. You're gonna make yourself a shit that brings me joy list. And when you feel lonely, you're gonna do some shit that brings me joy. And not just that, but I want you to fill your days with shit that brings you joy so that your life is so rich without anyone around that you don't notice you're lonely. Like how can you be lonely when you are balls deep in your favorite murder mystery or you are writing a new song in your studio creating something 
You're not feeling lonely. You are in the moment. You're in your zone of genius. As Gay Hendricks would say, shout out The Big Leap. Great book. Check it out. But the point is, I want you to make it a habit to put joy, fulfillment, satisfaction as the forefront of your focus. You and your happiness is all that matters. Plus that story we talked about in the beginning, combining all this together will allow you to become magnetic, to actually radiate truth in the idea that your life is exciting and that people want to be around you because you're going to love what you do so much. And you're going to have a story that supports the idea that people are drawn to you because of it that that's exactly what you're going to experience. And the more you experience it, the more you affirm it, the more you believe it, the more you experience it, and so forth. So I want you to comment down below. I am fun, exciting, and magnetic. I am fun, exciting, and magnetic. I am fun, exciting, and magnetic. And you could even throw in there, I attract the best people. I am fun, exciting, and magnetic, and I attract the best people. And that affirmation will help you embody the version of you who is fun, exciting, magnetic, and has the best people around them. And I'm going to say one more step. The next step in your no more loneliness journey is to head to community.roxytalks.com and make a profile, join the free community and start connecting with people like you who know exactly what it's like to feel lonely and decide to manifest something better. And if you're ready to kick loneliness's ass and take this a step further, I invite you to join my brand new Confident AF boot camp. Join me and your fellow manifestors. We are kicking up our confidence up a million notches to embody the ideal version of us without fear, without judgment, without apologizing. Loneliness, psh, what? Never heard of her. Roxytalks.com backslash programs. You can get started right away. Courses, programs, all kinds of amazing stuff to help you manifest your best version, your best idea of life. And don't forget to check me out on social media, on my podcast, iTunes, Spotify, all the things and pretty much everywhere. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate you. I love you. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you. 